There he is. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, you got him, baby! Yeah. Get him! Yo, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington, and this is Deer Meat for Dinner. Right now, I am on the bank of Bear Creek, and I am looking at millions of sockeye salmon. Commonly, they're referred to as a red salmon. Unfortunately, I have some good and bad news. Every single one of these fish, virtually millions of them, are all gonna be dead soon. The good news is they're doing what they're supposed to do. These fish are anywhere between two and four years old. And when they started their life, they were in the headwaters of this creek and they started out as little fry. As they made their way down the creek headed to Resurrection Bay, they were impregnated with the scent and the smell of this very creek. Once they hit Resurrection Bay and moved out into the Gulf of Alaska, they started to grow and become fat and they become this huge school of sockeye salmon. Well, at the end of their life cycle, they come back into Resurrection Bay and using the scent of the river as they smell the creek that they came down as a baby, they go back up as an adult. And that's where we are right now. This is Alaskan State DNR land. If you're hunting or fishing, use this. It's Onyx Hunt, it's an app, and I'm telling you what, I use it constantly, especially for moments like this. You got it, girl! What's up, happy people? We're back at the mud flat. We've got our rods, we're going salmon fishing, and we got our wagons. Let's roll. Jen, you made a winner. Oh. All right, let's get going. Tide's coming in. And look at the eagle. Look at the eagle. Look at the eagle. Oh. Okay, so before any of you get all freaked out that we're out here snagging fish, A, number one, it's not illegal. Two, it's the way they do it here. The treble hook, which is what we're using, it's a weighted treble hook, is commonly referred to as the Seward Fly. Oh, big boy's got him on! He's got him! <laughs> Over the rail and in the pail. The problem is once these fish start coming out of the salt water into the fresh water, they stop feeding. So they're just traveling. The only way to catch them is with a net or a snatch hook. I mean, there may be a few other ways, but legal take is a net or a snatch hook. I am not a resident, so I have to use a snatch hook. It's legal, it's the way of the land, and what we're about to do. Thank you. I expect to be seen on TV or something, right? <laughs> yeah. They say that you're the uh, fish whisperer around here. I get... Okay, here we go. Got the old treble hook back in the game. Got him. Come here. Come here. Back it up, back that way. Back up. I got light line on. Back it up. Dude, I will I just broke one off. Back up. Hold on, I'll, I'll take him to the other side. <laughs> Hold on. <no. laughs> That's my first salmon I've ever snagged. 
That's the first one I ever got. Look at that. Just got me a salmon. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Here, are ya? Oh, you got him, baby! Yeah. Get him! You knew I felt one. Yeah! Yes! <laughs> Good job, baby. Oh, I gotta change the battery, you guys. It's like I'm taking a time out. There he is. Got him. Get up here, boy. Yes. Make a cut in his gills right there, bleed him out. Good job, that's it. You got him. Good job. How you doing, buddy? What's your name? Pete Bailey. Hey, Mr. Bailey, it's so nice to meet you. Look at this, y'all. We stacking them up. Oh, get him, babe, get him, babe. Get him, babe. Keep going, keep going, he's about to come off. Keep going. Good job, honey. Yeah. And I snagged you. <laughs> that was a defensive offensive play. There he is. Got him. Hey, this one is what you call stoned. That one didn't even move. I hooked him right through his brain. I was like, wow. Pink is hot! You sneak in and go right. There you got him. Come on, Come on boy! Come on, son! Come here! Watch out, honey! Fuck, I got a dang old smoker on! You know what they say. Yeah! Look He just shows up to camp. Next thing you know, he's fishing with us. This has been so much fun. And I know a lot of you may think, oh, that's not fair. You're using a treble hook. I would consider it one of the more fun and challenging ways of fishing I've ever caught salmon. And the cool thing is, like, he's got one on right there. They're catching them all over the place. It's just fun. We got the kids out here. We're looking at bald eagles surrounded by snow-capped mountains. It's really amazing. You should try it. And I know some people are going to be like, I would never do that. Well, I'm not advocating that you do it. I'm just saying I'm having a blast. Kev, did you have fun? Dude, I had an awesome time. Exactly. Honey, did you have fun? Oh, oh you missed them! Keep fishing, keep fishing. Yeah, I got one. I got one, I got one. Why do you keep snagging me when I get one? Oh, oh, oh. Yes! yes. Woo.
Welcome to camp, everybody. We were fishing directly across the bay over there, and I've met so many awesome people. Little Louie, you're awesome, brother. Aria, she got a really bad earache and had to go to the doctor in Wasilla. Dr. J, thank you so much. He wound up putting tubes in her ear, and so me and Kevin are holding down the fort here. And that is a beautiful sockeye salmon. This may be the right way, it may be the wrong way but it's my way. Hey, number one, I want to use this head for bait. See that? It's got like eggs and all kinds of gooey. That's going to be my bait whenever I go halibut fishing next. Follow that backbone. Go up and over the That's a beautiful filet, throw it right there. Now, because you've already taken off the head, it's gonna lay flat for you. There we go. I wanna get these ribs off, but they, they're very thin, so you don't have to cut a lot of the meat. Just like that. Perfect. Okay, so these are our new friends. What's your name? Aaliyah. Aaliyah? Ava. Aaliyah and Ava, and this is Mo. Yep. What's up, man? Hey. The great thing about fishing, especially when we're salmon fishing over there, is that is a food situation. No one's there talking about who caught the biggest. Everyone's trying to catch their six fish to bring home, to put fish in the freezer or fish in the smoker. What's your favorite way to cook salmon? Smoke it and jar it. Really? Yeah. I do like it that way, but we're about to throw some on the grill. And this is really easy. I like to salt it. I like salt on my salmon. I also like a little black pepper. There's no way on earth I'm doing this without a little bit of Everglades, just like that. Take all of our fish, and we're gonna try to lay it right in here nice and evenly. That's the really hot side. This is the off side. And so it'll just cook it nice and evenly. Be good to go. What you think? Is that up to Alaskan standards? Definitely. Yeah? Yeah, nice and slow. There you go, man. There you go. It's about to get good. Look at that love and goodness. It's going to come right off that. Look at the skin. See all that? Oh. Oh. Then this little homemade peach salsa. Just a touch sauce, just a touch spicy. We're just gonna put a little dollop of that right there. Ladies and gentlemen, that right there is what we call the love flatter. Wow. Oh my gosh. Good? Oh, yeah. No, that's better than good. I think it's the Holy smokes. Mm. I like the sauce on there. Like Ava, do you like it? <laughs> oh, I'm getting thumbs up all around, y'all. We're in a campground called Miller's Landing. I've had so much fun here. We've gone out on rental boats and smashed halibut and rockfish. We've gone salmon fishing, but just hanging out in camp, you've got a beautiful stream back here, Resurrection Bay, eagles, whales, otters. This place is magical. And I know it's getting late, but on June 19th, 20th, and 21st, I have three boats booked. We still have a couple spots available. Call the office, set it up, and uh, we're going fishing. What'd you think? I love it. This is so good. Yeah? This is the way it's going to be done from now on. <laughs> I think good I'm deal. doing fillets and no more mm -hmm. jars. This is good. Mm. Hey, you know what they say, folks. Take care. God bless. And we are gone.